G'day guys, welcome back. I am going with the art class again today. Art class one hour epoxy. I just set my timer for three minutes. There it goes. I want it to be ready. I want it to be ready to go when it when the time was up. So it's a pretty thick resin. It's gonna spray in here. So you do get more bubbles than you would with the platinum. 360 plus which I really like to use as well so pouring that in there and I'm going to put uh, just 10 grams in this little cup you don't need much at all just going to pop that there I right, actually got 12 and then the rest of it's just going in here so I made up 26 grams of A 26 grams of B equal amounts now you just got to make sure that you don't fill this mold too too deep this this is a top coat resin so it doesn't like to be filled like it doesn't like to be too deep all right otherwise um, it'll set up really really quickly all right let's just torch that go around try and release the little bubbles like I really really love the um, effects I get on this but it just sets up so fast all right so that's it there um, I am going with blues today let's drop that ink in now I'm going to start with um, I want to do lightest oh gosh I don't know let's just do this I was going to go lightest to darkest there's that one that is called azure and then we've got cerulean. These are all Let's Resin. That's cerulean. And then we have sapphire. Really dark blue. Around the edge there. Okay. Um, let's pop another one of those in the middle. There we go. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, we'll just give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a blend there to blend those colours. And then we better get on with it. Now the white. I'm using the Just Resin Titanium White, and I'm just going to stick that in, give it a bit of a stir, wipe that off. Whatever's left on is what's staying in there, is what I'm using. And I'm going to add in two drops of pinata white alcohol ink as well. Alrighty. So with this resin, you don't wait. You mix it, you pour it, you make your petals. Dunskies, that's it. You don't wait. Um, I think, hmm, no, I'll start in the middle with this one. Why not? So make sure that's mixed in really, really well. You don't have time to wait. You just have to get on with it. Clean my stick off. All right. And here we go. Are you ready? Just pop some of that in. I'm not going to even wait, worry about mixing or cleaning my little stick. I'm just going for it. If I wait too long, the resin sets up. And I actually quite like having those different colours in there. So you just have to just get on with it with this particular resin. Um, I, it's not available overseas just yet. I'm in Australia. Um, I'm sure it will be because everyone wants it. I'm sure it will be there soon. I've dropped something. Actually, I'll, I'll just make another petal there and incorporate that into there. So yeah, um, you could possibly, if you wanted it, you could email Des from Platinum. Um, I do have their website link below in my description. So the Platinum 360 Plus is on their website. But if you want something different, I'm sure you could email them and they would be more than happy to accommodate. There we go. 
that's it. <laughs> See, I told you it was fast. Now I'm just going to break up my little blobs a bit. Can't really see where I've been. It's the only thing. Don't know where I've been. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to give it any heat. Don't think I've got any blobs. Mm, it's pretty good. I don't like how it touches the... I try not to get it to touch the the mold but sometimes it just just does but I found that if I fiddle too much I just make it worse so give it a quick torch for bubbles and then just leave it so yeah um, as I was saying you could possibly email them and see if they can send you some but I'm sure it will be available in the States real soon but you can get the 360 plus which also works really really well for 3D blooms and coasters and whatever else you want to do with it. All right, I'm happy with that. It's blooming. Look, I try other resins and I, I come back to this, even though it's in the little tiny jar bottles. And I can only really make one at a time, but I really, really love the effect. So it's like for the, for the 3D blooms, it's my favorite. Um, I have got some bigger bottles that Des sent me. Thank you, Des. Um, but I've packed them. So, and I've only got three more days in my studio, so um, I'll have to have a break from resin for a little while anyway, while my studio gets built. Look, boxes, boxes, boxes. All my paint supplies have gone from the side there. I've got a little table with, I've kept a few little things. Boxes, boxes, boxes. I don't even know what to do with everything. I'm in the process of taking all my micas off the shelves. I've emptied that shelf. All paints are gone. Boxes, boxes, more boxes. Oh gosh. I don't actually know what to do with them. I'm just going to cover them all with a big tarp and hopefully that the builders can work around them. So this is all I've got left at the moment. My little table here with a couple of different things going on. I can do a few more pours and then that'll be it. So uh, you will still see my posts. So I've got a few videos waiting in the, in the wings there. So I'll pop them up one every couple of days. I not want you to miss me too much or forget about me. Julie who? <laughs> At the end of the six weeks. Who? <laughs> I kind of remember that girl. All right, look at that. Oh, I love this. Oh, there's a bit of a hole thing, a hole there. What am I going to do with that? Um, it probably happened when I torched. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go cover it in all right so it looks as if it's working beautifully I can't wait to see what this is going to be like darker in the center and then a turquoise and then um, some blue so I'll be able to unmold this in about three hours so yeah I'm still, I'm still going dark it's going to the dark side all right I'll see you soon for the unmolding stop it hey guys it's the next day I know I can unmold these in a few hours, but it's it gets sort of dark in the studio and the light's not real good. It kind of gives it that sort of yellowish hue. So I'm just preferring to wait for the morning. And uh, then I can, here we go, I can um, put you in front of the window. All right, now this is looking amazing. Look at those petals, they are so pretty. I can see the turquoise there in the kind of around the center. So I'm not sure exactly what color the center is going to be, but um, hopefully it will be pretty. I'm going to put that over the top just so that we can see better. All right, are we ready? I'm so excited about this one. Hope it's going to be pretty. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the countdown or count up. One, two three oh shut the front door wow look at 
that one you guys <gasps> wow that is so pretty my gosh it's without the black you can choose to do a background afterwards like you can wait and see if it's worked first before you spend your time and your money on doing it because there's a little lip there so you could afterwards just put a thin coating of black or silver or whatever color you wanted to white um, just prop it up on a little cup or a little lid or something but uh, yeah you might want to wait and see if it actually works before you go to all that trouble because they can be a little bit tricky to do oh wow that is so pretty oh, hopefully you can see well in the light there we go oh my gosh I'm so happy with that love this resin I have to ask them to make me another resin that's very similar to this but it's got a slightly longer work time so I can do a couple of coasters at once but it's so pretty because it's so nice and thick and considering it's so thick there's really not much in the way of bubbles is there not really I can't I mean there's a couple on this on the very edge there but it's really good considering it's a thick resin love it all right so thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed my little video and uh, I will see you real soon for the next one all right thanks for watching bye for now